นะโมตัสสะภะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะนะโมตัสสะภะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะนะโมตัสสะภะคะวะโตอะระ
arrive from arrive at Heathrow, you see the cloud is so low, black, dark, and low, and depressing. And that's just only the feeling at the beginning. But when we stay in the climate, we stay in the environment, the people is more important. The environment itself is not it important, but it's not that important. When we stay together, and we can see that someone we want to live with, someone we don't want to live with, someone really practical, but it's not pleasant to live, to be around too long, somebody not that practical, but when we around them, we feel at home, we feel at ease. And sometimes we might not feel that, we might not feel that we are the environment for other people. Sometimes we forget about that. Um, stay with Ajahn Amaro for many, many years. When I stay with Lung Po Sumeto as an abbot, quite difficult for me to connect with Lung Po at the beginning because I don't really know how how can I talk to him. He's so senior. He's so far away from me. Even though Lung Po very friendly, really nice, and always care about me, always ask anything you like me to help, just let me know. Just yes, make open invitation. But the connection did not that. It take me so long. It's about five years before I really be able to connect to Lung Po. But compared to stay with Ajahn Namaro, it's quite different, different story. We might uh, cracking joke, we might argue, we might disagree, but to be around him, it make me want to study more, want to learn more, want to, when he told story, it quite entertain, and want me to read more and uh, research more. I'm not a good reader, I don't like to read that much. I love to listen. When I listen, I love it because I can hear the tone of people's voice and I can hear, I can guess where they come from, how they want, what they like, what they want to, well, in the background, what they really want. I can guess, and most of the time it's quite accurate. Some people might come with a soft, beautiful, low, and look like really polite, but underline it a lot of command. I ask you, you need to do this, but really polite and composed. Some people come with a loud voice, but nothing. Just I just want to tell you this information. Mm. And when listening to something, from time to time I listen. If if it record, it might take time for me to listen to some talk. Sometimes hundred times not exaggerated actually one of one talk i might listening to 100 times it's quite common for me and I, even when i was young when i learned how to train myself to uh, play music sometimes thousand thousand times is quite common just listening again and again and again and again and again at that, at that time, I didn't understand why I love things like that. I love voice of people. I love something beautiful. I love something that practical, but at the same time, it's beautiful. I don't like just a box. I talk about myself quite a lot. Why I talk like this? Because when we stay together, 
we don't sometimes if we don't pay attention, we are the environment for other people around us. Some people might uh, doesn't pay attention in their robe, just put it on, and some people not even care about the smell of their robe, the color. And how do how one put it on when it's not beautiful for me it just irritates my eye. Some people not even wash it. They just be with nature. Yes, for them they're quite easy because when you be with yourself for some time you cannot hear, you cannot smell your yourself. But when you walk path other people they just felt some kind of distinctive unique smell and and it's like a difficult to say you know, one I, I used to be like that too I don't care much about my own smell and I work with uh, many university students and then one day they just offer me the role on and <laughs> <laughs> and I told them I never use it. it they said please Lunga please no I never use it I eat like a luxurious please look, just ask me please okay. not for you for us <laughs> I understand that <laughs> Yes, I have to use it because it just start to sleep. Okay, that <laughs> we call the young man smell. <laughs> really ugly sometimes. <laughs> we have a lot of time when spend some when spend time alone with a China Maroon. We have a lot of things to talk about, mostly listening to him and explain. And what I like the most is the quality that I observe for Namajan Amaro, he know how to follow and he know how to read, lead. That's what I like the most. He know how to follow. Some people don't know how to follow. Even walk for arms round. Some people don't, don't, don't even know how to walk behind a senior monk. They want to be uh, just, just in between, like... And they want to be, uh, you, when you allow them to go in front, they don't know how to go in front either. They just want to be, uh, just, just, just irritate to, to, to walk like that. And when you see the photo, you can see that if it in line, beautiful line, it's quite beautiful, but even someone off, off, off the line, you feel, no, it's not right. It's not right. Some people, they know a lot, they learn a lot. They have a lot of knowledge, read a lot, but when you ask them to do something, you see that it's not right. Something is not right. That it's difficult to explain because it, you know, for by observant, even chanting, when you chant it, it, it in middle, uh, in the like harmony, that tone and rhythm, it come together, it's quite pleasant to to hear. But when it not, you can see it out of tune, it, it looks like hard rock or uh, uh, heavy metal. And it goes, and it's uh, annoying and irritated. But at the same time, it's beautiful in another sense. You look like it, it stirs you up all the time. <laughs> Then how it works like in life. <laughs> when you love someone, you stay with them. No need to tell them. If you really love them, this quality that you have and the intention, the thing that you do, no need to remind again and again, I love you, I like you, I wish you are the best. No need to remind like that all the time. If you people remind too many times, it 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 start to 
need to be questioned why you say so many times. But if you don't say it, some people don't recognize it. But, but when you really love someone, you pay attention. You see and you observe and what it benefit them and what it helpful to them, not only by your um, bossing around and try to tell what to do, what not to do. It didn't work. It doesn't work that way, isn't it? When we stay with the community, stay with the family, and just just pay attention. What need to be done? We do it. No need to be in front all the time. Learn how to be behind. No need to be behind all the time. Learn how to be in front. That because. At the right time and the right moment, it's beautiful. When it's not the right time, the right moment, it's not beautiful. If you can observe that during the uh, Anumodana, we have a lot of seat left in front. No one wants to come in front. And when the one who wants to come in front, really wants to come in front, mostly, they don't understand what's going on. They just sat there. The people make an anchali, they just sit. Don't know what's going on. But they like to be in front. Ajahn Vimaroto, this morning, when he sneaked in in the meditation hall as a hippie, he just be behind and sat there and then left before people noticing. And now he have to be a monk for a long, long time. Now he have to be in front. And <laughs> when you know how to be in front at the right time, at the right moment, it's beautiful. Lung Sume told, I told Ajahn Namuro that I quite like the style of his leading and his guiding. I, I liked it, I, and he told me that Lung Po Sumeto once told him, Venerable, you know how to follow, and you know how to lead. Actually, I'm quite proud, because I observed that, and it's accurate. I quite like it. Last winter retreat, when the Ajahn sit, Meditation, he sit quite long. Sometimes he nod. This side, one side. And last year, I observed that the Ajahn doesn't sit still that long. He sat a little bit and then he just start to check. Like, I just, just feel what's going on. There is something going on that he didn't share with me yet. I want to know, but I, I just I don't go and approach him and ask him directly. Like you just have to wait, tie style, wait, see what's going on. I I can see something not quite right. When you stay with someone like that, you start to know that something not right. But he didn't share with us, and then until the right moment, he start to share that he have a lot of conversation, a lot of phone call, a lot of interviews, have a big problem that he have to uh, facilitate and try to organize the people to solve the problem. And I'm proud about that too. At least I observe that, okay, something not quite right here. It doesn't mean that it's accurate all the time. Sometimes our, my judgment, my observant, my not, my not it incorrect. But what I liked it, I like to observe the way people walk, the way people talk, the way people act. And I can guess if you act like that not so long, people will hate you. Because people don't like someone to push them around. People, they, they want to help when they would like to help. But when someone has been 
push them around, push them around all the time. It's annoying, and they don't like to work with you. And later on, going to be argue, going to be dislike, and we ourselves we don't like the thing that we do to other. But funny enough, we actually act exactly what we don't like other to do to us, and expect other people to like it. Like Lumbo Cha said, people well, we want to do something wrong, but don't like the result to be dukkha. Sit in this temple for many, many years, 20, 21, 22 years, spacious, quiet, even though it's not really quiet, but it's still compared to another monastery, really quiet, really peaceful. When Lumpur Sumato was leading in front, he always be here, in front of everyone, before everyone. Lumpur always be here, solid, like stone. And when we have a Chanamaro, he will be here in front of us, before us. From time to time, he might say, five is five, not five path, or one past five. Five is five. From time to time, he say that. Me, and I'm not the morning person. I just try so hard to come just only to joy sometimes. Two minutes late, five minutes late, and sometimes even half an hour. I have to run from my kuti to just to joy and to do the chanting with the chan, the chan omaro. Beautiful voice and loud. Beautiful, isn't it? To have the tone like that. It doesn't mean that we have to follow the Ajahn in every footstep, but we learn, learn how, how to act like a junior, how to act like a machima, how to act like a senior. If we do too quickly, it's not the right time. In Thai, we call Ching Suk Gon Ham. Ching Suk Gon Ham, it means ripple before the time of the rip's net. Try to be like the uh, Ajahn before you are really the Ajahn. Try to be gain follower before you really have the right moment to have follower. To be the Ajahn is not difficult. The difficult one is when your disciple don't listen to you, that it is suffer. I used to be the Ajahn since I was one wasa, because the only monk be around and they call me Ajahn. I don't know how to teach them. I just, anything that I can think of, I just talk. And then one day they start not to listen to me anymore. My word is not important any longer because Yes, I can understand that a young monk like that, who can to believe you, even you say some very high uh, copy from senior monk, learn from the book, they just think how long you can to be a monk. That most people, they, they would like to see it like that. How long are you going to be a monk for? You might say, for life. But, so many people say like that, and they disrobe. Even the senior monk for 30, 40 wasa, they disrobe. You just start. No one going to believe you. They believe at the beginning, but later on they see your word, your action doesn't matter. And then it didn't work. That 
how I observe in the monastic life. Some people they quite low key, not even be able to speak well. But when they go any monastery, they stay anywhere. People always have very good reputation for them. This monk very very good. He cannot speak English, but I like him to be here. I have many friends. He stay in another country, and he always have his own way of doing things. Most of the time, when I ask him or them, I will ask, "Where you plan to go next after this, after this monastery? Where do you plan to go next?" It doesn't mean that I disturb him. I want to want him to check. For himself, after this monastery, where they going to accept you? Sometimes we have to think like that too. The quality, the reputation, the the way we act in the sangha, it have reputation. When it doesn't work well in some in one community, it then. Reputation start to flow, and people know us before we even arrive. They know us. Okay, this monk, this person, they have this tendency. Do we accept him or not? If they say, mm, "Think about it." Me too. When I was young monk, I applied to go to somewhere, especially winter retreat. Their room always full. They always not allow me to join them for the winter retreat. I start to think, yeah. Do I do they? Do I play good enough for them to say yes? No, actually not. They going to be disturbed by me because the way I do thing is not really suitable to be with them. That's how it work. I went for my dear friend funeral. Many people during the COVID time have passed away. And one of them is my my friend Achan Kandasiro. We expect him to come back in November, on the 10th of November. But I heard was the 18th of November. I just plan to go to Thailand to be able to talk to him, just to explain and. See how he think because he don't really want to come back to Amaravati, but he don't have any place he can go. Actually, the Amaravati is the the place that we we big enough. We have big community. We can support each other. Maybe we can let people hide in some corner. I want to go back. I go go back to Thailand and talk to to him. To see how he felt about returning and prepare him to be just to be comfortable enough to come to 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 Amaravati again. Last time that I met him in person, it was what in Wat Pananachat. He was coughing really badly. We stay together next uh, in the same building, but his noise, his coughing is so loud. Cough all night. I asked him, "Why don't you wait until the Uposatha Hall of Wat Pananachat opening ceremony?" And then what he told me was, "Venerable, I am dying." I heard, but I don't really feel. I just felt, yeah, "Why don't just wait until opening the temple is." One in the lifetime, when in one lifetime to have opportunity to open the temple, especially 
uh, what Pananacha temple is quite unique. But my friend said, I'm dying. And we always exchange joke or send some funny comment to each other. And then the last day that I have contact to him was 25th of November, four days before he passed away. To have friend you close to and you look you look for good opportunity, anything that benefit to him pass away. It something is quite we could not say that it's not missing. It's something. It quite in the heart. It the first thing I'm when I receive news like this. The first thing I'm agitated and upset. That quite common for me when I heard the news. Because one thing, why don't why why don't it happen like that? Why don't it have? Why don't it slow down. Why? Why it happened like that? Why? Why can I help more? Or why he do that? Why? Just so many why? 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 In in my heart, and it make me angry. People might see, oh, look at me. They might feel or see that I'm the a cool, or a cool heart, and not get angry so easily, even for the Thai. They, they see me, wow, he smile a lot, he um, easy going, he not get angry too easily. It means that they don't know me. I'm the hot one, I really heat up really quickly, but I try to hold out, hold back, and try not to say. People might think I'm the, the, the best. Yes. I used to think I'm the best too. I'm the best of the best. If you are the best of the best, you don't come to the monastery. You do something else. When you come to the monastery, you have a turning point that actually I am not, I am not that best. Somebody else better than me. And I could not complete with them. Ajahn Amaro, he talk about his, his running skill. He really good in running. He always champion in his hometown. And then one day in the national competition, he just see the, the one who better than him in front of him, really far away, really far off. He not compete with them. But when we think about ourselves, we are the best. I am the best. I know everything about everything. But because we know everything about everything, that's why we are suffer. We are not the best. Yes, we are the best in something. We do can do something better than other people. But we are not the best. Otherwise, we don't turn to the monastery. Or otherwise, we don't struggle in the Meditation never be peaceful. That when I get angry, angry like that very easily. It took me about a week or two, and the heart start to check a bit, and uh, from time to time it look like the the tears start to to come, and I just start. Oh yeah, actually. I miss him. I could not help him more. I can help, but I try to help the best I can do, but I could not help more. Okay, what was next? Okay. Now, cremate. How to do the cremation. And we plan There's so many help, so many support. If you want to be uh, yeah, as a monk, the best way, the best place to die, to die in Thailand. Because people honor you, people respect you, and support you, make the crema cremation be quite grand, quite beautiful. And many monks, many supporters come and prepare, prepare the 
mobile temporary crematorium just to burn one person and prepare hard wood and saw saw wood really hard easy to make burn the body and beautiful because sandalwood just to make smell beautiful and I learned from a friend who I met him since I was a young monk 30 years I met him all the time but we never have opportunity to really talk but because of the funeral of my friend so anyone who be there I try to connect with them talk to them and ask them what going on how to do thing and he explained to burn one human body we use three sack of charcoal big one is about 50 50 kilograms of charcoal three of them 150 and put it well dry it in dry enough and put the coffin on top and it's about five hour the body going to be disappear only the bone left left and he explained how he do it and how to prepare it and now how, how to use the fan to blow the the crematorium temporary crematorium and it's about 180 monks came to the funeral a lot of talk a lot of dhamma desana a lot of people come and help out in Lumpo Liam, Lachan Jayasaro, Lachan Sri Banyo, Lachan Kevali, and many, many senior monks. That many of them I cannot remember their name, but I can recognize their faith. And travel from England to Thailand and arrive in Bangkok, drove from Bangkok to Buriram, all together, 24 hours, could not sleep. Not, it didn't, and doesn't mean that I'm really sad. I just took, I took, I drink a lot of, drank a lot of coffee on the way. So, and people really scared of COVID over there. And when I arrive, you might think England is so cold, but actually Thailand is colder because the temperature was 18, but you don't have anything to protect you. you don't, luckily that I have socks with me. And after I asked many friends to help with the, to compose Ajahn Kandasilo brief biography, I do translation and ask friends, young, many friends to help to check, to translate into Thai. And I just, now the time to crash. I went for a long nap until the young, the monk arrived and called me and told me that we, they have a meeting. Lumpur Liam Achan Chiasaro was there and they would like to, to ask me to, to talk to me about the procedure, what to do, who to read what. And during the reading, I can see that the, the to read out what I did, translate, I, trans, I read many, many times, but when I read, really read out that my friend actually already dead and I won't see him again. That make my, my voice it shaken. And people recognize that and I recognize myself too. I can see for myself. Friend is not with you any longer. I'm always asking him as well. I ask Ajahn, oh, my friend, where next? Where are you going to go next? I don't want to disturb him, but what I want to, I want to 
remind, I want to, as a friend, the one we love each other, I would like him to see what going on now, what are you doing? Can you move on to the next state or not? Can you move to another monastery or not? Your reputation is important. That how I see things, because compared to the Buddha, the Buddha, he got his reputation when he go anywhere. They always have kittisap, reputation about the Buddha. He is an arahant. He the blessed one. He the teacher of the deva and human beings. He is an arahant. He have very good reputation. People might not care about their own reputation, but from since I was born until now, I would say that reputation is very important, really, really important. You, your name is very important. What you can do is not, yes, it later, but the reputation before you do it is very important. Because people don't it take time to know you, but to hear the reputation it easy, and when the reputation it good, it good at the beginning, and when we can keep up with our reputation, it better, and when we can develop from our reputation to be better than what they say. Even the best, good and better and the best, because what we can do. And after cremation, the the next morning we collect the ashes. That in Thailand it's quite common that we can see the dead body. It seems it's quite normal to see the dead body burning and people, everyone allowed to come and have a look and see what's going on. We don't hide. We don't try to say, no, no, it's, it's going to be all right, and let them do it. It's not right like that. People come, children come, and it, during the uh, funeral, we just talk to each other and talk about death and contemplate, even though when someone dies, we still, the heart still shaking. The feeling still no, not me. I'm not me. I'm 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 not dying that soon. Because we think we're going to live a little bit longer. And when I collect ashes of Ajahn Gandasilo and put in the pot, we just put in the the shrine, and people come and pay respect and see the bone and have another another tambun and make dedication for him and after that I went to Bangkok and went to the south anywhere that Ajahn Kandasilo went just to go and tell people that he already dead and make donation to the monastery to to dedicate to the Ajahn himself, but I could not go to Malaysia because we didn't plan that well, and we don't have one of my, my brother didn't have passport, so we could not go there. And when Ajahn Amaro arrived, and we have a retreat, this retreat is quite fruitful for me, because it's small, and we, I have a lot of time to talk in person to Ajahn Amaro. Usually we have a lot of friends and many monks, but at this time, not many, just only two of us as a monk, who was a monk who lead the, the retreat. When we listen to Dhamma days and now listen to somebody. We no need to believe in everything that they said, but what we see, we contemplate. 
we learn more we gain more knowledge we gain gain more uh, information from the one who speak and when we learn how to observe when we learn how to to acquire that knowledge to be our and after it we know by ourselves we don't need to believe them we don't need to believe what they say because the belief is not important any longer and compared to Sariputta Sariputta he once the Buddha asked him Sariputta do you believe me that if the sattā, the faith, when cultivate, contemplate, and pursue fully, develop fully, it have footing in deathless. It have the result in the deathless. And he asked the five faculty, sattā, viriya, samādhi, Sata Viriya Sati Samadhi and Panya Faith, Energy, Mindfulness, Concentration and Discernment or Wisdom. If you contemplate, develop and fully, it have a footing in deathless, it have the end in deathless. Sariputta, instead of to say, yes, I believe you, Sariputta didn't say that. He said, Bhagavā, from that, in that account, I don't take faith in the Buddha that if you contemplate, cultivate, Faith, faculty of faith, faculty of energy, faculty of mindfulness, faculty of concentration, and faculty of discernment in three, five, in three. It have the end or the footing, the end with the deathless. But if someone who don't know, who not cultivate, who not realize by themselves, they might take other people by faith. But the one who know, the one who realize and contemplate, attain by themselves, no need to take on faith that when someone who cultivate and contemplate faculty of faith, faculty of energy, faculty of mindfulness, faculty of concentration, faculty of wisdom, have the footing in deathless, have the end in the deathless. And the Buddha said, that did very good. Sariputta, that is great. And that how the Arahan, who always already practicing, already realized, already understand. At the beginning, he might use faith, faith in the Buddha. Otherwise, he would not then. And later on, after he contemplate and meditate. Just only 15 days and for and the one who su supreme, the best of the best, and like Sali Putta, 15 days, he realized the truth, he became an Arahan. And if we think we are the best of the best, we have to do, we have to be similar to him. But for us, even to calm our mind down, it takes so long, but to have an ego, so just only the quick, the click, the ego arrive. But to contemplate, to make uh, our mind calm and understand Dhamma, it takes so long. 
One of my friends, I heard about it. I, I never met him. My friend told me, I just heard about. One of the senior monks in our tradition told him that he got nearly third jhana. He got second jhana. At the time as a young monk, I dream about jhana. But for him, the senior monk approved that he nearly reached third jhana. And people talk about him quite a lot because it, anyone who got so high samadhi, people are, as a young monk, go, wow, that's special. Not that long. Yeah. My f- friend is disrobed. He got a third jhana, nearly third jhana. He still disrobed. That did make me feel even jhana, high concentration like that, could not prevent people from disrobing. That made me feel yeah, there is something missing there. Ajahn Amaru talked to us in his uh, Dharma days and now about the fly. And he, he have opportunity to meditate in Chitta Viveka, 1988, I think, if I remember correctly. And he tried to meditate all night until he went back to his kuti, until he relinquished it. He just let it go, let it, don't concentrate anymore. His mind became peaceful, quite bright. And he saw uh, a fly try to get out from the building. And he tried to help that fly. The more he tried to help, it make the more it make that fly uh, nervous and agitate and don't go anywhere to try to bang the the glass window and the door was open and after he gave that reflection during the the before the meal i went to see him and I just told him as well that I saw the fly. I saw the bee, not the fly. The bee tried to get out from the window. And it just bang his, his head to the wind, glass window. Bang! And then it dropped. And again, bang again. And drop again. And bang again. And drop again. And it's compared to myself. I see that I'm not supposed to be here. My destination is over there. It was really clear. But I don't know why I cannot go beyond my wish. I wish to go there. But something blocked me. Not that big. I can see really clear. I could not go there. I could not do it. It looked like I just banged my head to the wall. I blank, banged my head. Just I want to go there, but I could not go. If you meditate for some time, you will see that the path is so easy to see. The realization, it looks so easy to achieve, but when it applied to the practice, to see Dhamma, to understand Dhamma, it's easy, but to be Dhamma, it takes a lot of energy. It looks like we try. We, we, I compare myself like a fly, like a bee, try to escape from the glass window. Bang, again, again. And again, until I have to say, there need to be somewhere, some form, some opportunity, some way, that is not banging like this. Don't think that, yeah, you just take it easy, life it, everything easy, didn't do anything much. Think in a different way. They might try to do so many things already, but it didn't work. 
not only me, the best, the clever one who is the best, I'm going to do better than other people. Yes, when we are young, we think like that. We bang, 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 but never peaceful. And no need to believe me, try out by yourself. And one day you will see that, okay, there will be another way that it make it easy and easy for people around us, easy for ourselves, and easy for the monastery, easy for the community. Compare ourselves like Sotapanna. The Sotapanna, the way they do is they compare like the cow, the cow who have a young calf. She herself need to eat, and at the same time, she have to keep, look, keep an eye on her, her baby. That how the Sotapanna work. They practice by themselves, and they care about other people. They care about people around them, like a cow care about their calf. And when you love somebody, you love someone in the true way, in the right way, we care about ourselves and we care about them. We practice together, make things harmony and do things together and make the monastery beautiful. I end my talk here.